My name is Safina Hussain and I run Educate Girls. Uh, there's a huge problem around girls' education. India has the highest number of out-of-school girls anywhere on the, on the planet. We have the highest number of child brides anywhere on the planet and also the highest number of women and girls who are trafficked. So the issue of girls' education is really very, very critical. For us, the way we define the problem is a mindset problem. So people, you know, we have access to schools within a kilometer of each village. But what we don't have is parents who are ready to send their daughters to school. So therefore, we're creating an army of champions for girls' education that basically attack this mindset and convince communities to send their girls to school. So our team Balika champions, they go door to door and find every single girl who's out of school, bring her into the school system, and then they come inside the classroom to teach three times a week. So what we're really trying to impact in the hardest areas is enrollment, retention, and learning outcomes for girls. We're eight years old, and in the last uh, eight years since our inception, we have brought back 103,000 girls back into the school system. Uh, we've also improved learning outcomes for half a million kids across seven districts in Rajasthan, and improved infrastructure for over 8,000 schools. Yeah, so our model is a public-private partnership model, which means that we have an MOU or a memorandum of understanding with the government of India, which gives us blanket permission to work in the schools. So the partnership with the government is really crucial. The other thing is we partner with a lot of different nonprofits, um, whether it's around curriculum, pedagogy, around content, life skills, and so we bring best practices from the nonprofit sector into our schools. I think the main thing around our model is to take an asset-based approach to say, you know, you could be in the hardest of areas and yet there are resources from the community that you can create to help reduce the problem and to solve the problem. And that's, our, I think, our main uh, learning. In the beginning, we were hell-bent to say that all our champions had to be women. And we just didn't find enough educated women in the villages. And so we had to accept boys, but we always saw that as a failure. And it's only much later that it hit us that that's actually a key success. Because when a young boy stands up in his village and says, every girl here must go to school, that's actually our biggest success. And for the longest time, we thought that would be a failure and we just wouldn't do it. So at every level, I think we learn new things and uh, we challenge our own assumptions which can be, can, it's good. It's eventually, it leads to, I think, higher impact. We're hoping to grow. So by 2018, we hope to reach 30,000 schools, serving almost three and a half million children. We've also launched the world's first development impact bond in education, uh, which really ties payment to outcomes. And we're hoping to make that a success over the next three years as well. The bond um, basically is tying money to predefined outcomes. So if I enroll an out-of-school girl, then there is a payment is triggered. But this must be verified by a third-party evaluator. Um, we have a third-party evaluator that comes and does a pretest on the learning levels of all the children. And then whatever outcomes we achieve versus a control. So there's treatment controls, uh, schools, uh, control schools. And if my children move two units and the control moves one, I get paid for one. So it's really how do you deliver to a pure impact? So many educational experiences, but I think the biggest one for me was I did my schooling in India. And we learned pretty much from the road system with our textbooks and each class and each subject had a textbook and you learned it and you gave the exam. And when I went to London School of Economics, suddenly we had no textbooks. We were simply given a list of articles uh, or review, economic review pieces to read and we had to go find the answer. 
Um, and for me, that was an absolute eye-opener. Also because our professors never mandated that this was the answer or this was the answer. It's really about you finding whichever is your answer, but being able to defend it with evidence, with research, with... Um, and I think that was for me like the biggest eye-opener in terms of my own education. My experience has been fantastic. It's been, till now, a great conference. I am amazed at the quality of people that are here um, and the quality of conversations that we've had till now. I think the organization has been perfect, uh, absolutely perfect. I think at every single step, they've looked after every little detail uh, that I could have imagined.